Well, and people say, oh, what's your favorite 911? Let me tell you, it's the one I'm in at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Exotics. I'm right now in my car going to meet one of my friend Joey uh, as Joey has invited me to a special event. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys about the event at the moment because I don't know what to expect uh, because it's my first time as well. Joey has been there a couple of times. He's a big part of this club. So we're gonna go meet Joey, we'll ask him where is this place and so he's gonna tell us about the event as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So this is our first stop service station. Uh, I'm gonna sh show you guys the cars <laughs> and everyone else. How was the drive everyone? Was it, was it good? good. <laughs> yeah, it was you know, we, we went slow for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joey, you know that I have a turbo sign in there, so... <laughs> He's got an S, so that, that means he's like shit. <laughs> and I've got an SC. Oh, I don't know yeah. what that means. <laughs> How are you, Joey? You good? Yeah, yes. I'm great, man. Yeah, How are you, you good? Yeah, lovely. Find yeah. out about Porsche life. Right? Yes. Today will be... A great experience gonna about. Be, honestly, you're going to see some gonna epic Porsche cars. You're going to see some epic Porsche people. Yes. How was the drive, Lewis? You good? Amazing. <laughs> 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 That's good. Yeah, two birth classic cars. <laughs> yeah, time for coffee. <laughs> time to get some breakfast. So this should do. Uh, I need a drink as well so I've got a monster in the car should I get a monster again and should I get a treat and shake yes which one would you guys go Mars or Galaxy I'm gonna go for Mars something good see you there see you guys where is our next destination, so our Joey? Ne our next destination is it's directly there. At okay. Box and gas. But I'm gonna you try ready? Yes, sure. with Jerry, he's the man, he's the poor man. <laughs> Guess where we are? Stuck in the traffic. So I'm here with uh, Joey and his car. How was the drive so far, Joey? Yeah, it's good. You know, I've just had a had the car repaired. Yeah. I had an alternator problem, so they put a new alternator on. Okay. And uh, she's running really well. And touch wood, we're we're literally a mile away from the event. So I'm happy. We've got here. So that's yes. really good. 
Um, but um, you know, it's a nearly 40 year old car, so um, it's been rebuilt. It was done by Porsche Cambridge okay. as a kind of a almost as a, a project by their uh, technicians. Whoa, oh, it's looking slow down. <laughs> there, was a, uh, there was a bit of a bump in the road there. Yes. Um, but um, yeah, it's yeah. You, as you can see, I'll give you a tour around it after. It's, it's been properly restored well, and I think that's what attracted to me to the car in the first place. Because with these old cars, you can buy yourself a whole heap of trouble. Yeah. Um, and um, I, you know, I, I don't want that hassle. I'm not a, I'm not a technical man. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to buy a car that was actually. Um, restored and as reliable as best these things could be yeah and here it is so which year is this 1982 1982 so 40 years old next year okay so you know probably just double your age that's <laughs> you know this car is probably naught to 60s probably about um five 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 and a bit seconds something like it's quite a light car it's uh, does about 145 so it's it's not massively quick but yeah. i've got to say i wouldn't necessarily want to be doing 145 in this it is really quite quite a tiny car a bit bumpy and stuff like that i think we are here so we're just about to arrive at box and gas so this is air cooled and water cooled this is a really big event uh for porsche porsche people porsche fans and yeah, as uh there's um, more cars are coming yeah some quality quality pork as we call it as well. oh this this is this is epic this little bit drive in Uh, do they always uh, make the event uh, in here? I think, or they I, think always change it? I think it last year was was the first one this guy did. Uh, Frank Cassidy is the owner of this this uh, business. Okay. And he restores and builds uh, uh, Porsches from you know from wrecks right through to amazing amazing machines. So you'll you'll get to see those here today. So how long have you been driving Porsche? Because I've told the uh, audience that you're a very big Porsche guy. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think I am now. I, I, I um, have been driving, uh, interesting, I've been driving Porsches now for uh, over 25 years. Uh, like 25 years. Yeah, so a fair amazing. while. And uh, I kind of um, started back when I, when I got into Porsches, yep. it was, uh, air cooled only so um and i started with a uh, a 911 on which i was very fortunate i had a what they call a uh, 964 um cabriolet okay. uh, carrera 4 cabriolet which was a great car uh, and, and a lot of those cars nowadays are used as donor cars to uh, rebuild and backdate to make them look like the old ones okay um and so they're quite hard to find a decent car I think out there nowadays and they've certainly the prices have gone up mad yeah and then my 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 second one was another 911 a, a 993 and that was the last of the um, uh, air-cooled cars before they went water-cooled oh, okay but so I've, what is the air-cooled and water-cooled air-cooled air is so this is a great sign here air-cooled air is um literally um, uh, there's no there's no um, radiators there's no water okay. it is purely oil and air and which so therefore the, th the things like the uh, uh, the vents on the back mm -hmm. the aerodynamics is really important excuse me I'm just trying to get my phone um, really important because it it's the lifeblood of this car is is the air that keeps it cool and the oil Without that, you've got a real problem. After the air, the last of the uh, air cooled in 19, around that'd be about 90, 98, 97, 98, they then developed uh, their first water cooled Porsche. Okay. Uh, so cars with radiators. And the reason really is essentially to get more power out of the car, mm -hmm. um, they needed to be have a cooling system that would be effective. Um, and so they were able to, in the first um, uh, water cooled was called the 996 shape. Um, and uh, they got, you know, more power out of the car. Um, still st still keeping the 911 with that six cylinder engine. Okay. The boxer configuration they call it. Um, and then from there it's just evolved. Uh, and all the cars since have all had uh, water cooling in them. 
Um, and then it comes down to uh, there's so many variants. You know, there's turbos. Yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, at the moment, what we, what, if you look at the GT products, you know, I've had GT3s, GT3 RSs. They're normally aspirated engines, and that's what purists tend to like because of the sound of the engine, the, the kind of visceral feeling of it, and the drive and uh, stuff. You know, but up there, look, you can see we've got a whole mixture of cars yes. here. We've got a real modern one up there, a 992. You can tell by the strip lighting going across the back there. And then the next one, that looks like, I mean, just going to put it out there. That could be a, that could be a, 99, a 996. That could be a water cool one then we're into a 911 targa a classic car mm -hmm. then we got a, a uh, looks like a, a nine uh, 944 i think it's 944 rather than 924 might be a 924 as well you then. probably know all the models because <laughs> I know, I know a fair, 20, a fair amount, but you know, you do get it, years, you do yes. get it wrong, because you do, you know. I mean, I know you're keen to sort of move up into uh, uh, buying supercars yourself, and I think, as you say, the, the thing that's against you at the moment is your age. But Yeah, um, I know, because in this country, the worst part is if you're young, your insurance will be very high, like... In a couple of years, you're definitely paying half of the price of the car. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, I've I've got um, friends who've got sons, and I've got one friend. His his son's probably about. What's he, he's just finished university, so 22, 23, or whatever. And I, uh, sadly, he's rolled his car twice. So mm. that is a, has an impact on the insurance market. Yes. The younger drivers, even if they're safe drivers it has an impact especially when you start putting bigger more powerful engines in so mm -hmm. um, it is a it is an issue but uh, but I uh, you know what I would say to you is is think about um, buying um, a, a mod what I call a modern classic um, and, uh, because I think a you can get a car that's probably more acceptable within your budgets but B that could offset some of the fact that your insurance is high yeah uh, you know um, something like a, a Porsche 997 or a late 996 could fit really well you absolutely love the car I know you would do. and I, I'd say this about any 911 people say oh, what's your favorite 911 let me tell you it's the one I'm in at the moment <laughs> Yes. <laughs> until I'm in the next one yes. you know uh, and so you whatever whatever 911 you have you either get Porsche when you drive them or you don't yeah. in which case you'd buy a buy another supercar I mean mm -hmm. you know I, I've always kind of looked at Aston and think oh Aston would be quite nice um, um, or a Ferrari and that but you know at the end of the day I've realized that they're not my cars that's not me it's not the, it's not my lifestyle yeah I know, you know everyone's taste is completely everyone's different, different like, yeah which is what's exciting you know so what is your favorite car you have owned so far my favourite car, um, I mean, apart from things like I've got Cayenne's, which are great car, but my favourite car really uh, has it is, is the GT3 RS, GT3 the one, RS, the white one that I had, um, and, I, and I kind of do hanker after another one at some point, and and the GT3, um, the 992 GT3, the feel of that car was so similar. To, to me uh, to the RS and you know I I um, uh, haven't have hadn't had chance to hoon that car or anything like that uh, so but but they're pretty pretty similar sort of feel really uh, but it was just the for me it was also the look of the GT for us I yeah, like looks big really big wing good, yes. The bigger the wing, the better. The more racy looking for me, the better. Um, it's not for everyone, and it, it stands out. Of course, it does. But and I like the fact that I had a, a race exhaust on there, which I got from uh, from Sharp Works in the USA. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, my one regret was I never managed to get down to Le Mans with it before letting it go. Club is 
is a global thing. So Porsche Club UK, any Porsche owners should be members. Wow, so that's this their, some area of their stock is... in there. Yeah. So they've got for each year, I think, and each model, they've got like spaces everywhere. They've got a DJ as well for us. Yeah, I prefer house music, man. <laughs> And by the way guys, Joey said he's gonna buy me my first uh, GT3 <laughs> When I win the lottery <laughs> There it is, that's a proof, okay? That's a proof <laughs> Joey, what this reminds you of? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> oh my god! That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? 